Hey guys, Zips here, and I am playing Portal 2. Portal 2 was recently on sale on Steam. I don't know if it still is, uh, judging from when you were watching this video. But it was on sale, it was like $5. I jumped on it, I bought it, and here I am. So I'm going to be doing a walkthrough for you guys. Uh, it should take a while. Uh, like probably around 30 episodes, maybe depending on how I do it, because there's like multiple levels. Um, another thing I should discuss you, because I have a laptop recording this, the beginning makes the, uh, the beginning of the movie just a little laggy. Uh, not a little, a lot. It's not like lag that you experience when you're glitching through the wall and not moving. It's lag as an audio lag. So the audio, like... Good morning. You have been in suspension yeah, for 15 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Whoa, that one was difficult. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Wow. That was really difficult. This game was so worth the money. Good morning. I'm you so have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call Hello? Is Anyone in there? The Hello? Ah! ah! God, God, you look te uh, um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. This is the part where the audio gets louder. You alright down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped, but never mind. Say apple, apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? Nope, I'm bouncing off the wall. The line. reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? I've got enough space. Okay, uh, listen for a boom. Just, just the gotta boom get through is here. Okay, I that. just can't concentrate. It's actually listening to us hit that. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management so comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. We hit all of them. We deserve a cookie. 
Okay, okay listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Okay, All right, understand. not dead. Tell them that you killed Okay, everyone. almost you there. The On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good See, news. Yeah, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Oh, there we go. Good luck. Hello, okay. and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. The portals. It's cool. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Okay. So, that was the first part. Uh, you know what? I think I might go on a little longer after this, so that way when I rejoin it, it's like load. But, uh, yeah. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Well, that makes me feel good all over. So the tests have begun. Uh, yeah. Excuse me if I reach a full retard state on these tests. I just kind of sit in here going, "What is it?" No. Oh, uh, try my best. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> yep. So, uh, with Portal 2, I've noticed there's a lot of this going on, loading screens. But the loading screens in between, they don't take that long to load. It's just loading the game itself takes a good minute. But these take no more than 20 seconds, if not 30. I mean, computer, if I had like a computer, there's a really nice one on the uh, Amazon site. I want it's like $500. It's a gaming computer, but I don't think I'll be able to get it. 
If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. You died. Hey, hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Oh! Okay. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? <laughs> if that's important, should have asked that first. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive. And I'm just going to wake you up ahead. Who's that? I'll wait, I'll wait one hour. Then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Okay, so I need to get over there. Uh... There you go. So we got the portal gun. That's so cool. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. The portal gun. Uh, I know this is just the like first gen version. There's a better version. Some emergency there. testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. What is... Uh, okay guys, I'm gonna have to end it here. Thank you for watching. Let's try to get this video up to 10 likes. And that's about it. Uh... Please tune in next time where we go even farther through the game in Zipcore 7 out.